I literally have the best subscribers that anyone could ever ask for. Y'all rock so hard. Thank you, Cora. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hi, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. Now, at least. I was having a bad day. Now I'm having a good day. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to be listening to uh, Bandograph Generator. Once again, this is a pick from uh, Jason S. He wanted us to finish up uh, God Bluff. And we did The Undercover Man last week, I think. And now we're going to be doing Scorched Earth. That's the next track. Then I guess the last one after that um, is the last track on the album. And that's it. Just over just like that. But that's okay. Because um, their music is special um, and dark and moody and unique. Like There's nothing else like Vandergraph Generator that I've listened to. Uh, Peter and Hamill just makes it, I don't know, takes it to another level every time. And... I get excited every time I get to listen to him, so let's go. If y'all are not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that icon right below my face. It's really easy. Just click it. Doop. Just like that. Doop. There you go. See? Now you're going to have good videos in your feed. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Scorched Earth by Vandergraaf Generator. In 3, 2, 1. Hit. Hit. Sound is so iconic. To charge of his enemy, shall to wait. He knows it is too late now to end up to soon life on the border. My past hits uneasily and is real. He's walking right into the trap, 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 trap. Surrounded and striving to win. Guy has been 
always forget what the sax, is, sax player's name is. That is nasty. <laughs> that is so good. might be just as good as Arrow. That's crazy. They've kept that pace up the entire song. It's crazy. And they sped it up at points. Like it's crazy. gonna end it by letting it breathe that would be actually really smart mm. 
dude, this guy has been killing it. Oh, that hi hat is ridiculous. Dude, that is so ominous. I love it. See, they were one of the first bands that had that real darkness. Like a banshee. That's crazy. Just shrieking. Wow. Well, damn. I like that way more than Undercover Man, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, that was guy just going crazy the entire song, man. He literally drove that pace the entire way. It's all, I mean, they had little, like, respites, but, like, man, they didn't really take a rest till the very end, it felt like, and then they kind of just let it breathe, but he was still fucking going crazy himself, like, man. And then David Jackson, too, man. He was really on fire at this one. Honestly, they were all firing on, like, all four of them were firing on all cylinders, um, yeah, so there was a clavinet in there, too. Yeah, Peter Hamill plays a clavinet, too. He does piano, electric guitar. Um, David Jackson does saxophones and flute. Hugh, uh, Banton, Hammond, organ, including bass pedals and bass guitar. Uh, and then Guy, of course, on drums percussion. Um, yeah, that was definitely Guy's finest hour on this album so far. Even, not even era. That was, like, Peter Hamill's finest hour, I think, on this record so far. Uh, but yeah, this was definitely, uh, I felt like guys just fucking, <laughs> not his going away party, but like, just like he is, it's coming out. Like just, he's fucking killing it. Like, everyone's getting it. You know what I mean? Like he was literally all over the place. So once he got to that, like kind of crazy drum line snare thing at the end there, that was, wow. It sounded mm, so good. <laughs> um, also, Hugh, man, uh, the bass pedals and the bass, too, man, like, I'm pretty sure it's just the bass pedals. I think y'all said he does, like, one in one hand and one in the other, um, which is crazy. Um, I don't know how he does that, but hey, good for him. <laughs> um, yeah, it definitely had a, just this ominous feeling to it, like a lot of their songs do. I think that's just their MO, is they, like, balance the light with the dark, and the dark is real dark, though. So that means, like, when they come in and, you know, at the end there and have that section that kind of just lets the piece breathe which i thought they needed that like that was the best way to end it they don't don't do like don't go too more like you know dark and crazy kind of let the light seep through and let it end there and then it did and they did a really good job with that i feel like um of course peter's vocals were just insane and his lyrics are not even poetry they're just like this cryptic poetry that makes sense to i mean it makes sense to him you know and i'm not saying it doesn't make sense but like it's uh, it's like what you take out of it is what is just what it is, you know. Uh, it's kind of like writing. Um, it's I don't know I don't know how to describe it. It's like you know how like you can, there's like that tracing paper, you know. You could like write something and then trace over it. It feels like he just kind of puts words to the page that mean something to him, but you could also trace over it and find your own meaning in it, you know. And yeah, I I usually go to some dark places with their stuff not like in that you know aspect but like in my mind when I let my mind wander with the music and I kind of didn't get that here I did at points there were some points where it felt very crimson-y yeah, King Crimson-y uh just it. but this band like I said they're completely unique there's no other comparison other than like King Crimson that kind of gets to the point in that depths of depravity they kind of get to it feels like it's just Dark Knight of the Soul, you know, parts one, two, three, and four every time I listen to them, and I love it, man. I think uh, Plague of Lighthouse Keepers was the, not my favorite of theirs, but, like, that's the number one song that's, like, whoa. <laughs> that he, that whole album, Pond Hearts, is impeccable. It's just so good. You have to have the taste for it, but once you get the taste for it, there's nothing else you can listen to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I guess... Yeah, David Jackson uh, did wonderful here, too. I thought this was him shining. The sax sounded great. He also does the flute. Um, I don't know if I heard a flute in this. I might have. I don't think so, but I think it's mostly just the sax. 
And I think the sax balances out like the keys and the um, you know not having a guitar really for the most part. I think that adds uh, a lot of layers to the sound and makes it kind of ambiguous of like what they're doing. Uh, you know, you can't tell that there's not a guitar there unless you really listen for it, obviously. Um, but I feel like their music doesn't really need one. Um, I think Peter's voice and that sax also just fills that void perfectly. And uh, I'll take that any day of the week because Peter Hamill is one of a kind, man. I wish I had his brain for a day. I would write so much shit, dude. You have no idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it, though. I can't wait to listen to the last one, which I think is called The Sleepwalkers. We'll be doing that one within the next 10 days, let's say. Maybe, I don't know. I don't want to promise a week and it not be a week. So we'll say 10 days. We'll get there. And um, I'm excited. This album is fantastic, just like Pawn Hearts. So far, I wouldn't put it on the level of Pawn Hearts, but it is its own beast in its own right, it feels like. And I I think the biggest track of the album is still uh, awaiting me. So we'll leave uh, the final judgments till after that one. So thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If y'all didn't know, we have a Patreon right here. That is a picture of it. There's a link in the description. Uh, join the $15 tier or up. You get to one free request a month. Or you can send requests in via, pay, uh, PPL, <laughs> via PayPal. There's a link in the description as well for that. That's how Mr. Jason sent this request in. Thank you again, Jason, for your support. I really appreciate you, bro. I really, really do. Um, if you want access to all the Patreon videos, I've got like full album reactions and stuff like up for like what, uh, Blind Faith, King Crimson, Jethro Tull. All kinds of stuff. What else? Oh, the Beatles as well. That's a big one. Um, you can join any tier, get access to the Discord, and access to all that. And um, yeah, we'd love to have you. We have a great community over there. And we're just missing you. So come on over. Um, I think that's it, guys. Have a wonderful day. See you later. Good night. And good luck.